Faith of Saint Jean Jagan, Day 1 Jean Jagan's faith was very lively and she had a very great spirit of faith. Jeanne's faith was practical, she saw God in people and in things, for her spirit of faith consisted in speaking to her brothers and sisters as though she was speaking to other Christs. She tells us with the eye of faith we must see Jesus in our old people, for they are God's mouthpiece. You must see suffering members of our Lord in them, for in them you are caring for Jesus himself, yes indeed, the poor man is our Lord. She saw the Lord in nature too. She saw God in humble cleaning utensils and used to say he must take good care of all that belongs to God. Lastly, she saw God in events. No matter what happened, she never complained and always encouraged us she was happy at all times, even when she was deposed because she knew it was God's will. Towards the end of her life, when she had become almost blind, she gave the splendid summary of her long life of faith. When you are old, you will not be able to see anymore, but now I can see God. In the midst of difficulties, she would adore God's plans and abandon herself to divine providence with complete confidence. She would say, when your strength and patience are giving out, when you feel lonely and helpless, say to him, you know well what is happening, my dear Jesus. I have only you and you know all come to my aid. And then go your way and don't worry, it is enough to have told our good Lord he has an excellent memory. Let us pray together our Navina prayer. Jesus, you rejoiced and praised your Father for having revealed to the little ones the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. We thank you for the graces granted to your humble servant, Saint Jan Judegan, to whom we confide our petitions and needs. Now let us bring before the Lord all our intentions. Father of the poor, you, you have never refused the prayer of the lowly. We ask you therefore to hear the petitions that she presents to you on our behalf. Jesus, through Mary your mother and ours, we ask this of you, who live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Saint John Jagan. Pray for us. Janjigan completely abandoned as she was into the hands of the Lord. She could not have been more predisposed to well in her hope. To be poor means to have nothing and to depend on God for everything. Above all else, it was her eternal reward that she awaited from the Lord. That is to say, to go and see the good God. To be sure she knew she was weak. She once said, we should have no more strength against temptation than a little bird has to resist the hawk. Were God not to give us his help, but that should increase our trust since by God's power we can triumph. During her last years she accepted to be forgotten and put aside she should never spoke about herself. She used to say, do everything for God alone, always seek the good God he is so good. Let yourselves be chiseled like stone, grafted like a rose bush, purified like gold. Her hope was most certainly not deceived. She effaced herself in the eyes of men, but she was great in the eyes of God, who has been the witness of her sufferings and of her works. 
Her last words were, Eternal Father, upon your gates today, to the most miserable of your children, but one who greatly longs to see you. Let us pray together our Navina prayer. Now let us bring before the Lord all our intentions. Reflection today, day three, charity towards God. John Jugan spoke only about God with faith, trust, and love. She always says little word to us about God. When she talked to us, we would sense that she loved God very much. Her words were on fire with the love of God. She frequently spoke to us about God with enthusiasm and admiration. John did not only speak about God, but she made herself an apostle of his love, and she preached it too. When she used to meet the novices, her usual refrain was, Love God very dearly, He is so good. She seems to be lost in God. She did not always answer our questions, why? We would ask her, because I was praying my little ones. She went everywhere praising God in all things, in all circumstances. She repeated often saying, Blessed be God. She used to say, We must be very little before God. When you when you praying, begin like this. Imagine yourself like a little frog before God. At night, when she would not sleep, she would unite herself to the masses being celebrated in distant lands. Let us pray together our Navina prayer. Jesus, you rejoiced and praised your Father for having revealed to the little ones the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. We thank you for the graces granted to your humble servant, Saint Jan Jugan, to whom we confide our petitions and needs. Now let us bring before the Lord all our intentions. Father of the poor, you have never refused the prayer of the lowly. We ask you, therefore, to hear the petitions that she presents to you on our behalf. Jesus, through Mary, your mother, and ours, we ask this of you, who live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Saint John Jugan. Pray for us. Our 
Our reflection for day four, charity towards her neighbour. If anyone says, I love God, yet hates his brother, he is a liar. This could not be applied to Jeanne. Her charity towards her neighbour was unbounded. From the time of her youth, she had never stopped helping the poor. It thus seemed quite natural to her to give up her bed for the elderly and blind and shoving. On a winter's evening in 1839, in this way and without knowing it, she laid the foundation of her congregation for which she spent herself during 13 years of active life and 27 years of prayer. Sacrifice and humiliations. The only wealth of Jeanne was her charity. She placed it at the service of those poorer than herself. She respected the poor elderly people seeing Jesus Christ in them. She was compassionate, kind, gentle and patient towards them. The poor and the elderly found a mother, bread, a bed, care and prayers in her. She even called herself a bread seeker. She begged for the poor. She said, this cost me a lot, but I did it for God and for the poor. In serving the aged, it is he himself whom you are serving. They are the suffering members of our Lord. Look upon the poor with compassion and Jesus will look upon you with kindness on your last day. The spirit of faith consists of speaking to our brothers as if we were speaking to another Jesus Christ. Let us pray together our Navina prayer. Jesus, you rejoice and praise your Father for having revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. We thank you for the graces granted to your humble servant, Saint John Jean, to whom we confide our petitions and needs. Now let us bring before the Lord all our intentions. Day 5. Jan Jagan was judged to be prudent since others asked her advice. Everyone willingly asked her advice. When she used to go out begging, people readily asked her opinion because of her prudence. She was prudent in her words. She gave only good advice, even though this might cost her sacrifices painful to human nature. She was thoughtful in her dealings with others. She did not answer through prudence certain questions put to her. Everywhere she gave proof of exemplary prudence. When she was present, things seemed to go smoothly. As soon as she went away, difficulties mounted up, everyone asking for Jeanne again. Lastly, her supernatural prudence made her see that a reaction against the odious abuse of authority of which she was a victim, legitimate though this may have been, would have been basically very human and thus not in keeping with the good and supreme end which is the ogle of true and perfect prudence. Let us pray together our Navina prayer. Jesus, you rejoiced and praised your Father for having revealed to the little ones the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. We thank you for the graces granted to your humble servant, Saint Jan Jigan 
to whom we confide our petitions and needs. Now let us bring before the Lord all our intentions. Father of the poor, you have never refused the prayer of the lowly. We ask you therefore to hear the petitions that she presents to you on our behalf. Jesus, through Mary your mother and ours, we ask this of you, who live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Saint John Jagan, pray for us. Living among the daughters, Jan Jugan lives today. The humble servant of the Lord lives in us today. Jan Jugan's humility, day six. Jan's humility, or her littleness as she called it, is at the base of all her virtues. Towards God, she considered herself to be nothing, a zero on earth. Moreover, she called herself a great sinner the most miserable child of the Eternal Father. These were even her last words. She loved humiliations, not because she was a masochist, but because of the reasons. She used to explain to the novices when you will go out for begging, there will be people who will swear at you and send you away. But you must never show resentment. For you see, my little ones, when we are given a hostile reception, this is good for us and something we can offer to God. Jan was humble in her words, in the sense that she never spoke about herself. She was also humble in her actions. She loved humble duties. She was humble in the way she thanked others. When one is quiet, one passes unnoticed. This is a way of being little. Moreover, I believe that you see these rose bushes, they are growing wild. You too are growing wild. But if you allow yourself to be well formed, you will become a beautiful rose, fashioned by the love of God. But you must allow yourself to be humiliated instead of turning in on yourself. You must turn towards God. She used to say, if you keep the spirit of humility and simplicity, never seeking the world's esteem, then God will be glorified and you will obtain the conversion of souls. Let us pray together our Navina prayer. Jesus, you rejoice and praise your Father. For having revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, we thank you for the graces granted to your humble servant, Saint John to whom we confide our petitions and needs. Now let us bring before the Lord 
all our intentions. Amen. St. John should have prayed with us. 